it uses proprietary um, terrain uh, size which are completely different than the usual 1024 or 2048 sizes that we used we are used with so underscore core client gen is going to be in a tif format 16 bit as well and save it here as well in the texture folder it's good to have everything in one folder okay now as for the normal map options because we're all going to do this in one pass uh, same here 2048 by 2048 uh, compatibility we'll just keep it as Maya Septimage um, 3D CG Max probably would probably be a good choice because UDK uses um, the difference in the compatibility is just the um, green channel if it's oriented in uh, Y axis in the plus Y positive Y axis or in negative Y axis when rendering uh, a normal map so most game engines use this settings 3ds max settings and uh, Maya uses the same settings as Optimage which is another 3d package and Modbox as well some game engines also use the settings but UDK and CryEngine will have to switch to 3ds max so keep the coordinate system at tangent and uh, We'll save this as a third normals. Uh, I'll add an underscore engine that way we're sure that the green channel is flipped in the right side on the right side. So we'll save this as a target. Save. Okay. should be perfect we can extract all the maps we need just check in the settings here right here so this should be a 1024 somehow when I changed the settings here it changes the overall settings so I'm guessing I'm just gonna extract them one by one doesn't make that much of a difference anyways um, remove the previous bump map the previous and normal map here as well. Okay, let's start with the height map. I'm gonna pause the video here and now uh, play uh, start recording again when all the extracting is done. Alright, we're done rendering the maps. It took actually less than a minute. I was surprised myself. So let's take a look at our texture maps here that we got. Um, check it out first in Photoshop and apparently we don't have any kind of issues we get the normal map we wanted so this normal map is going to be used in UDK and probably in um, if let's say you want to make a, a model version uh, of your terrain and you, you could just like drop down a few set of subdivisions here and mod box and apply your normal map onto it and you can ma have a modeled a model version of your terrain and use it in the background instead of having to use a terrain in your game engine um, sadly enough CryEngine doesn't support normal mapping for uh, a whole terrain they'll probably add the feature uh, in the future hopefully um, but right now I think it'll probably good uh, look good enough with just a uh, diffuse color and a few detail textures uh, in the engine itself. Um, let's save this file here and um, start importing all the stuff we need into the Cry Engine. might take some time to save for some reason probably because we got some texture maps applied to the terrain so it has to make a copy of the texture map every time we do save okay 
you can see we we ended up with a bunch of texture maps and all these texture maps could be used I mean we got a we even got a light map that we could have rendered at a much higher resolution if you wanted to uh, very useful stuff if you if you're working game development or even um, CG when you do offline rendering all right so the next thing we need to do is bring in the height map into the cry engine so we need to remember uh, that uh, which um, height map format the cry engine supports so once you go to ter terrain edit terrain go to file import height map and then you just see here you can just see here that the two 60-bit, 16-bit formats are the PGM format and the dot row format. So the thing that we'll have to, do, the thing that we'll need to do is re-export the TIF for height map that we exported from uh, Mudbox. So the one with the underscore cry engine. right here and we save it as a PGM format so it is over here and hopefully I don't have any I won't have any compatibility problems as you can see it saves as a PBM format and it won't work so uh, what we did before uh, what we could do as a walk around this problem to uh, instead of just trying to find a a uh, solution on the internet or a program that could save um, the file as a PGM format or um, we could save it as a raw format but sometimes you might need some problems with it so the PGM would probably be better for our client engine so um, what we could do is open up rule machine I mean it's gonna be really simple it won't be that complicated remove all these nodes delete everything go to generator input file file input bring in your height map the one in TIF format the one that's meant for CryEngine itself so it's in textures and uh, use the list CryEngine there it is okay there it is natural fluid elevations 8.8 perfectly fit here Let's see. Full range. Okay. There it is. Just making sure that there aren't any issues on this side. But it doesn't really matter since in Quire Engine we can just scale the height map and the vertical axis and the height axis. So and next what we need to do is add an output node you link these together the output would be a PGM the right format that's, gonna wor that's going to work with the cry engine it could be a raw s 16 as well but we're going to use a PGM to avoid any kind of problems set the output this time it's going to be terrain chat final height map for cry engine dot pgm portable gray map all right now save this, OK. Remember to fix your texture size to 1024 to 1034. Conserve texture, mixer, me texture memory. Build this real quick. OK. Right output to disk. There you go. It says, gives you a little box telling you that it's been written successfully. 
Now all we need to do is import the high map into the Quai Engine. I go to terrain, edit terrain, plow, import height map. We go to where the height map has been saved. In our case, it's going to be in the folder which is on the desk. Textures. And there it is in the PGM format. Not this one. This one is the old one which we'll have to delete or actually keep. Anyways, it's the one with the underscore crying chip. All right, it is here, but what you will notice first is the problem of scale. So in order to fix this problem of scale that you will obviously get every time when you import a height map into your Quai engine you will have to go to modify and reduce range. Do this a few times. Usually I do this two to three times. Three times would probably be good enough. And there we go. We have our terrain here in Quai Engine. Okay, now we need to apply our texture which is in BMP format, wi which we need to re-export as a BMP format because Quai Engine only supports a texture map when you do uh, import texture here you select supports only bitmap format for some reason so we need to re-export our diffuse texture which we made here as a bitmap diffuse bitmap 24 bit okay now I'll do this um, I'll import the texture the way um, any kind of user um, beginner user would import a texture that way we can see once we run into a problem I'll show you once you've run into a problem I'll show you how to solve it so you go to export import, you click here on the square, just like it is explained anyways on the um, uh, documentation you can find on crydev or crymod.net. Or actually here it is, you guys just go to crydev. Um, let's hope the internet is fast enough because I'm also well uploading some stuff here in YouTube. Uh, you go to CE3 SDK documentation and type in terrain, painting terrain. go down a bit there we go now um, it deals with the texture so yeah I was uh, I was saying that it's always good to check out the documentation you can always find some very useful information that's where I get all my information when I've got a doubt about the cry engine about the SDK itself I'll just go into check on check out the documentation then check the forms do research on the forms before posting on forms for quest for questions, because usually the documentation um, solves 90% of the problems or the questions you have about the SDK. So I'll just click here, do an import, select my diffuse texture, and do close. Okay. Now, as you can see, we are running into a small problem here. Now, you notice that the texture doesn't apply properly or doesn't project properly onto our terrain. And you'll notice that the texture is scaled up as well. I mean, we could do a save here. Quick save. And do a generate surface texture. 
2048 by 2048 okay and hit okay there you go still not exchanges so first of all what we could do to solve the first problem since we already know that the texture isn't projected properly we also know that the scale of the texture isn't white as well so to fix the scale you just hit refine texture tiles so you get a warning message which will say that the texture size will be 10 24 by 20 10 um, 2048 by 2048 now so you say yes okay now you need to save and do regenerate surface texture 2040 by 2048 still not enough what you need to do to fix this problem is re-import your texture select all the tiles and try again. Try to generate surface texture again. Okay, now let's refine textures again. Yes, now you need to save. Now generate surface texture. Alright, these are the first issues that you might run into. It's kind of playing, uh, you're trying to guess how it's going to work. So, what you need to do to fix this problem here, you know, it's you can see that the texture is applying only to one tile here, and you want it to apply to, four, to the four tiles, where each tile represents 1024 by 10 uh, 1024. And since we're working on a 2048 texture, you want it to apply to the whole terrain. So you do import and select all the tiles. All right? Import and import your diffuse. Close. And there you go. It solved our problem here. So we solved, we basically solved our texture size issues. Now, what we need to solve is the perception. So apparently, when you you take a look at a terrain it seems like the texture is rotated by 90 degrees so what we could do is go into Photoshop is rotate and rotate our texture um, by 90 degrees and save it again as a BMP and re-import it here in CryEngine and see how it looks and see if it maybe fixes a problem so what are we gonna do here is open an, uh, our BMP file, bring it into Photoshop, go to image, transform, you need to find it, select all first, control A, image, let's see if I can find an image rotation, and 90 degrees CCW, try this out first, now let's save it, okay, as you can see it has been rotated go to the terrain import texture select all your tiles and close all right so some issues here now what could be the issue let's see just trying to guess how on which side you must rotate or maybe you sometimes you need to flip your texture now right now apparently I have to flip my textures 